Good afternoon and welcome to the Wreaths Across America official National Day Ceremony. My name is Paul Schweiker. I'm a member of the St. Mary's Knights of Columbus and I'm honored to be the Master of Ceremonies. Thank you for joining us here today as we celebrate the mission to remember the fallen, honor those that serve and their families, and teach the next generation the value of freedom. This year, please be aware of the spacing around you and respectful of those that choose to wear a mask for their protection. This is another example of the freedom we have to make choices. We ask that to start the event, you all please join, in, join with me in a moment of silence to remember the fallen, the prisoners of war, those missing in action, and honor those who have served and are serving this great nation's armed services. Thank you. Thank you. Would you all please join in the Pledge of Allegiance? Anthem. It'll be sung by Kiara Bailey and Antonio Romano from the Norton High School. I'd like to invite the Reverend Bernard Hinckley to come forward and offer an opening prayer. Let us gather and take a moment to first be in silence to offer the prayers of our hearts, the prayers of thanksgiving, the prayers of remembrance, and the prayers of hope. So let us begin in a moment of silence. Eternal God, the one who is still speaking and ever listening, we gather here on this day to come together to remember those brave women and men who have laid down their lives for their country and the armed forces, for those who do so currently by serving, and those who will hear the call to serve in the future. May we honor their sacrifice in the way that we treat and talk to one another. May we stop digging ditches of division and start to build bridges that bring us together to honor the freedom which they lay down their own lives so that we have freedoms of speech, of living, of hope, and of love. And as we gather to lay these wreaths, let us look at the circle, a reminder of your 
unending love for us with no beginning and no end. And so may the circle of love which you entrust to us, given through their sacrifice, may we honor it this day and every day, especially in this holiday season, as we gather and wait in anticipation for the Prince of Peace, in whose name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you all for joining us here today. This year, across the country, at 3,679 locations like this, including 27 American cemeteries overseas, there are millions of Americans gathering today safely as one nation to remember, honor, and teach. We are all proud to be Americans that live in a free society made up of many people from many walks of life. The freedoms we enjoy have not come without a price. Lying here around us and in cemeteries throughout this nation are men and women who gave their lives so that we can live in freedom and without fear. We can worship as we see fit. We can raise our children to believe as we do. We are free to vote for the leaders of our choosing and we have the right to succeed and the right to fail in whatever endeavors we wish to pursue. The United States of America was founded on the ideals of freedom, justice, and equality. Our nation stands as a shining beacon of liberty and freedom to the world. We thank those who gave their lives to keep us free and shall not forget you. We shall remember. Today, more than ever, we reflect on our nation's veterans and active duty service members who have had and continue to fight to protect the innocent and oppressed. This nation has always been the first to stand up for freedom of the people from around the world. Many of you here today have answered that call and served your country well. For this, we say thank you and we are honored to know you. There are many men and women serving today in all branches of the military, here at home and in places far away that most of us have never heard of. These men and women are part of the best trained, best equipped force in the world. We honor them and their families for the sacrifices they make each day to keep our country safe from terrorism, hatred, and injustice. These occurrences are on our news every day. The war in Ukraine, North and South Korea, and the violence in this country are just a few examples. Be it on foreign soil or on our own, these service members are there to protect us. Quoting our 40th United States President Ronald Reagan, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free. Today, we show a united front of gratitude and respect across the United States of America as we remember the fallen, honor those who serve in their families, and teach the next generation the value of freedom. I'd love to call our Estelle Flett to come forward for the wreath plan. Good morning. My name is Estelle Flett, and I'm the Veteran Service Officer for the Town of Norton. At this time, I will call up a veteran to place a wreath for each branch of the service. They'll be escorted by the Knights of Columbus. Now, Major Joshua Lee, currently serving in the Air National Guard, who served in Iraq and Afghanistan, will present a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Air Force. Now, Christopher E., Army veteran that served multiple deployments, will present a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Army.
Now, Bob Briscoe will lay a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Coast Guard. Now, Margot Margo Walsh, Walsh, Gold Star, Star Spouse, her husband, her husband James Walsh, Walsh, served with the United, United States, States Army in Vietnam, Vietnam will present a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Merchant Marines. Brian King, King, Army, Army National, National Guard, Guard veteran, veteran, served from 1994 to 2000. Statewide, statewide activation will present a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Navy. William Wilson, Navy veteran, will present a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Space Force. Now, Matthew Arger, currently in the National Guard, who was activated twice while present, uh, will now present a remembrance wreath in memory of those who were wounded or killed while serving and have earned the Purple Heart. Brian O'Sullivan, Marine veteran, will present a remembrance wreath in memory of those who served and are serving in the United States Marines. Now, Kevin Brusso, Army, Army veteran, served in Vietnam, will present a remembrance wreath in honor of the 93,129 United States servicemen from all branches of the service whose last known status was either prisoners of war or missing in action. These individuals never return to their families and homes. We shall not forget. We encourage every volunteer here today who places a wreath on a veteran's grave to say that veteran's name aloud and take a moment to thank them for their service to this country.
It's a small act that goes a long way towards keeping the memory of our veterans alive. Remember, we are not here today to decorate the graves. We are here to remember not their deaths, but their lives. Each wreath is a gift of appreciation from a grateful America. These live balsam fir wreaths symbolize our honor to those who have served in our, in, in our serving in the armed forces of our great nation and to their families who endure sacrifices on our behalf every day. To our children, we want you to understand that the freedoms you enjoy today have not been free, but have come at a cost that someday you or someone you know may have to pay. As a nation standing together, we can, we can defeat terrorism, hatred, and injustice. Thanks to our veterans, we have the freedom to do just that. I'd like to thank my brother Knights of Columbus for assisting us here today. State Senator Paul Feeney was unable to be here today. However, he was in attendance at the first Wreaths uh, Across America State House ceremony this past Monday. He always supports the town of Norton, and we truly appreciate him. At this time, I'd like to recognize some of the dignitaries that are joining us here today. Uh, Representative Jay Barrows and Steve Howard. We have not in town manager Mike Units. I see selectman Mike O'Toole. And is there another selectman here? I think there's one Mike. Sir? Yeah, would you, uh, would you like to come up and say a few words? If you're not frozen in place, Steve, and Jay. Thank you very much. I'm truly amazed at the number of people here today. Given the weather, the cold, uh, right before Christmas, uh, I know many of you have many errands to do, and yet you found time to uh, come to the cemetery uh, to uh, pay your respects and participate in this wonderful event. Uh, there's a quote that uh, I tend to always go back to. It's uh, almost 250 years old. It was a quote by uh, our first president, Washington, and I'll read it to you. And I think it's so apropos to what we're doing here today. The willingness with which our young people are likely to serve in any war, no matter how justified, shall be directly proportional to how they perceive the veterans of earlier wars were treated and appreciated by their nation. And I think we're here today to show that we are appreciative, we will be appreciative, and we will continue to be appreciative. So thank you again for allowing me this honor to speak to you this morning. Well, good afternoon, um, State Representative Jay Barrows, and it is honestly an honor and privilege to be here today with all of you and to see all of you here. Um, I remember when Wreaths Across America started many years ago, and it has grown and grown and grown, and we've seen it go throughout the whole country and overseas as well. Um, it's a true testament to Norton uh, as a community, uh, as people who pay respect to those that are serving and those that have served and those that have made the ultimate sacrifice. So again, thank you for being here. I look forward to uh, putting a wreath down on one of the graves. And again, they say you, um, you die twice. Once when you stop breathing and once when people uh, no longer mention your name. And we're here to remember those that, that served and served sur valiantly for this country. So thank you for coming out and uh, God bless and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Reps. Uh, Tom Manager Mike and uh, the second want to come up say a few words? I'd like to thank uh, Pat Tarantino and Estelle for all the work they do in organizing this event. And uh, I think this is the largest turnout I've seen here. And uh, thank you to everyone that's come out. And as uh, I stand here in the cold air thinking about this sacrifice that you're making today, how tiny that is. You know, this today, this date is would have been the uh, was the second day of the Battle of the Bulge back in 1944. 
and I can only imagine what those men were going through that, in that cold snow of Bastogne. And uh, so I appreciate uh, everyone remembering those that served us and those of you that are here that served. We truly appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you all again for showing up um, on this, this first day. Um, Pat Tarantino and Estelle, thank you very, very much for pulling this all together. As we are here to remember those who have fallen and served this country um, so, so gracefully, um, I think Rep Representative Barrow said it best, and it reminds me of uh, the Native Americans. Nobody's dead until we, you know, someone stops saying their name, so it's very important as we lay those reefs and we recognize that um, and say their names in memory. But on uh, behalf of the select board and uh, the as well, um, thank you all very, very much for your service today in memory of those those that are uh, gone. Thank you. I'd like at this time just to thank and recognize the veterans that are here. If you could all raise your hands if you served. Thank you very much for your service. I also want to thank the uh, fire department for making an appearance here today to support the veterans, the boys and the Girl Scouts as well. Thank you. I'd also like to thank, and you've heard it already, but Patricia Tarantino for coordinating this event and invite her to come forward now to say a few words to wrap up the ceremony. Thank you. work all year to get to this point. But I would hasten to think what it would take to lay almost 700 wreaths down all by ourselves. I'm proud to say that once again we're laying a wreath on every veteran's grave. Thank you to the citizens in town that donated time and money. Our businesses in town, our organizations in town, they all, this is a community effort. The American flags that you see all around town, those flags help support our race as well. And it just warms my heart every time I see one. <laughs> it's great. Um, my committee is wonderful. We can always use more people. Please let me know. This year, I had the privilege of going to the United States Cemetery in Normandy. I do have a cousin that participated in that day, and he has told many stories about it. I also have companions that traveled with me, and his father was a paratrooper on that day. It was amazing to be in that national cemetery. It looks just like any other national cemetery you see here. The beautiful stones and everything's lined up perfect no matter where you are. Peaceful, beautiful. And then I started walking through the cemetery. And then you see the day they died. Thousands of them. June 6, 1944. It really all of a sudden hit you that this was just an unbelievable day for these people. And the people there do appreciate it. If you do get a chance someday to go, please do. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because we, Reese Across America now send Reese to 26 or 27 foreign locations, American cemeteries across the world. So this is truly an international event now. and something we should be proud of. And what I want to impress today is that everyone here, so that every stone tells a story of an individual's life and commitment to this country. Your involvement is allowing a family the peace of mind to know that they would be honored and they are loved and they are not forgotten. And this was the whole mission of Reese Across America, to remember 
to honor those who serve today and to teach our children. And those of you who are here with your children, thank you so much. If that's the hardest piece for us to wrap our heads around is how do we teach the children? But by bringing them here, you're showing them something that's really, truly priceless. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want to hold it. <gasps> where's, the, where's the karaoke? <laughs> Um, if you come across a, a Star of David on any of the um, veterans' graves, we ask that this year you do not put a wreath there. Instead, do say their name out loud. Do thank them for the service. Do take a moment and then go on to another one. Also, this is not a contest. It's not about how fast you can put the wreath down or how many you can put down. Just to put one down, in my opinion, is an honor. Take the time to read this person's information and say their name out loud. I was going to mention about the not saying their name out loud, but two people have mentioned it already. So <laughs> um, there will be some volunteers. The logistics of this today is the people who are staying here, there will be some volunteers at the shed. They will hand you a wreath or two. If you are young and agile and want to get some exercise, head out to the furthest end of the cemetery and you can work your way back. If you signed up to volunteer online, I have your names and I have cemeteries assigned to you. We have the Center Cemetery, we also have Timothy Plains, and we have volunteers out there. So after the ceremony, if you want to come by, I can tell you where I hope that you will go. Um, and please let me know if you're willing to donate any time throughout the year. Thank you for giving a few hours of your time today in this cold. Luckily, it stopped raining. And the Reese Across America Norton Committee wish you and your families a happy holiday season and a healthy new year. Now to conclude the program, Officer Dennett will play his bagpipes and Mr. Williams will pay taps. Thank you all.